Hey guys, today I'm doing my What's on my iPhone tag to write over the tail from the title above. I was tagged by Jess, you can watch a video if you click over here. And basically this tag, all you really do is show what apps and stuff you have on your iPhone. My iPhone is an iPhone 5 and it's white as you can tell and it's 64 gig. So this is my case, it's a hard case and it is of an old camera, that's what the case looks like. I got it off eBay and it's really hard to get on and off so just light it up. My background is my dog Pickles sitting in the bathroom smiling at me and yeah and I can slide up the camera and then slide down just put in my password. This is what my phone looks like when you unlock it. This is my first main page. I've just gone into moving around my app so you can see my background. That is a screenshot from the game The Sims 3, which I took and I thought it was really pretty. So it's my background. Just go back. There you go. That's my two pages of apps. What you're seeing here is 153 apps and I organise them all as you can tell. They're like my main apps. They always stay there. So phone, music, Twitter and messages. Obviously I'm going to need my phone and messages a lot seeing as it's a phone and then it's also an iPod so you got to have your music and I'm addicted to Twitter so that's why that's there. And then this page is like my most used apps and like important ones up the top I've got my settings so it's good to have them quick to find. Contacts, mail, safari, I have camera, photos, YouTube, Facebook and then it starts to go into current most used apps so Wattpad where you read stories other people have written, Snapchat which I'm using a lot at the moment, Instagram which I'm using a lot. Skype and Tumblr I'm also using a lot and eBay. I have my NAB internet banking down the bottom because that's also another most used thing. And this is useful stuff which is useful stuff but not necessarily I'm always going to it. But it's good to have easy to find. So I've got battery apps, dictionaries, I've got remote which means I can control iTunes on my computer from my phone, um, videos, the weather, calculator, that kind of stuff. Just useful things. Next page is all my other apps and I've organised them into categories and then alphabetically and just put little emojis and things. These are the Apple apps, a lot of them come with the phone and then there's a couple which I've downloaded like the Apple Store so that's actually buying iMacs and phones and things. Not that I do but you know it's nice to look and dream <laughs> and other things like that. So that's, that's that section. These are blogs and I don't know why Compass is in there, I didn't realise. I don't really use this section much but this. I've got Hayley Williams' blog, Charlotte Vale, who's a really good artist, and then one of my friend's blogs, and Compass, which is not meant to be there, but okay. Next is drawing, so it's like little drawing apps, self-explanatory, it's crap, pretty much, self-explanatory, I've got like those love calculators, they're always fun, to, um, I love you in a bunch of ang different languages, Tic Tac app, The Idiot Test, got the caps cop app and all this other random stuff so that's what that is and I've got some more crap so crap is generally random unsortable stuff or actual crap so I've got Edmodo which is a pro uh, which is something I had to use for school and iDream which is a dream journal and it's new <gasps> my folder that's a secret folder I'm not going to show you in there don't worry it's nothing bad just keep like passwords and things in there so I can find them health health apps sport related apps whatever I don't really do much exercise, but it's health and fitness kind of section. Underneath this newsstand, and I've just got New York Times in there. Because I was kind of sad not having anything in there. I don't actually use it. We have games. So games are just a sort of games. I don't even play half of these, but lots of lots of games. Um, yep. More games. More games. Subway Surf, down here probably be the game I'm playing the most at the moment but I always go through phases so soon I'll be addicted to a different game. This is my nom 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 section so I've got like the more cupcakes, more cookies, more salad, they're just apps that you make food on, I get the idea. These are music apps for their song lyrics and this one is just facts. About Paramore, both of them, I don't really have that many. The photo related apps so I've got various different things to do photos with, face goo so you like make your face silly and frames, effects, cropping, yeah. These are my social apps, so social networking and stuff. Though I don't remember my kick password, I think I use it for a day. 
um, various tool apps, Omegle, Bluetooth, um, don't use IMVU, don't remember my account, I played that for like a day and then it got too sexual and I stopped. Fiber, which I don't use, MySpace, which I joined for half an hour and realised how boring it was. I was just writing stupid things, I wasn't like serious. I was just like, oh my god, MySpace, but there was no one to be stupid with on. So I was just an idiot alone on MySpace, as you can see, it's fairly new. Then I have Keek, which I'm always using. You can follow me on Keek, at me out, it's Caitlin. Bluetooth chat, Xbox Live, Bump, which I don't really use, and Edgecofon, which was my main Twitter app, but I get Twitter for free, so I've had to switch to that. And the last lot, TV apps, so there, Gossip Girl, Friends, and then like Network Guides and TV Guides. My Optus app, oh, it's going to tell you my number. That just shows me how much I've got left on my phone, like internet, credit, whatever. I have Google Maps and the YouTube Capture app. Ready? <gasps> ah. Yeah. Show you some music. Let's give you an overview. You guys want to see what music I like? Ready? I don't have that much. And that's my music. Also, my phone has this slide downy thing. I've got the local weather for the week and tap to tweet and tap to post. So on my phone, I have Siri, so I just go like this. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Ah, oh, she's good. What are you wearing? Why would I be wearing anything? Oh, Siri. <laughs> Will you marry me? I shall sure have received a lot of marriage proposals recently. Doesn't answer my question, Siri. I love you, Siri. I think you just like the package. Siri makes me laugh. So that's Siri. Uh, she's pretty cool. Anyway, that's it for this iPhone tag. I don't have anyone specific to tag, so I'm just going to tag all of you guys. If you've got an iPhone or even an iPod Touch or an iPad, just do this tag and leave it as a video response, that would be great. And I will make sure I watch it if it's a video response. So, you know, put it down there. Down there. That's why you're down there, putting your video response. Leave a comment, because that would be great. And you can leave me video suggestions or say anything else you really want to say. If you want to leave a video suggestion, then you're awesome. And subscribe above. And like this video. And favorite it. And share it, because this is all I do for sharing. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. So that is it for this video and I hope you liked it. And from me and Siri. Until next time. Bye guys. <laughs>